Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean on my alternate uh, YouTube with the capital B's. Um, I'll be on here at least for the next week, but this will be my new alternate uh, channel in addition to my regular YouTube. Okay, uh, today's date is October 1, 2022. New, I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Episode 425, Russia to nuke the U.S. in retaliation for the N1, N2, their pipeline being blown up, sabotage. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, uh, Scott Ritter, uh, Benjamin Fulford, Dr. William Mount, Monkey Works, a previous video I've done, uh, Steve Quell, and Doug Hagman. Okay, and uh, I'll draw you a map of what happened recently in uh, Russia, Ukraine, that situation. All right, so we have Russia. We have, in this area, we've got Finland, Sweden, Norway, and we understand this week Finland is shutting off their highways and practicing landing their planes on their highways. Maybe they know something's coming. Over here we've got Denmark, uh, Germany, Netherlands, plus. Okay, we had two pipelines coming from Russia to Germany carrying natural gas. This is actually uh, the N1 is two pipelines and N2. And we had statements, public statements in December of 2021. Victoria Newland of the Shadow U.S. government. N2 will not be allowed to come online. And then we had public statements by the JB, actor puppet. And that was in February of 2022 and also July of 2022. N2 will not be allowed to operate. Now we have this going on. They were, they were both blown up. And it's universally accepted. That was sabotage. And we have information coming out, and I presented in a previous video also, that NATO has been since May in this area doing exercises. Neptune Shield was one name, and now we have a new name, Baltic Ops, that was going on in this area right here in June. And it involved NATO dropping, practicing dropping mines here and also operating and experimenting with un, uh, submarine drones, which is believed to be the method, according to Dr. William Mount, of how the uh, pipelines were blown up. Now, these pipelines cost Russia $12 billion to be built, and they are unrepairable. So by uh, December, according to Scott Ritter, Richard Marine military analyst, people in Germany could be freezing to death and definitely their economy will be destroyed and thus the economy of all of Europe. And we understand in the Netherlands, which was also to receive some of this natural gas, this week, their evil and corrupt government said you can't use stoves that burn wood and you can't stockpile wood either. Now we have this coming out from uh, Press United, information from the Foreign Ministry Representative Maria Zaharova that in June of 2022, NATO had that Baltic... Uh, operation going and giving details on it that I've just shared with you. Another uh, writer for Press United, Kurt Nemo, is giving the nations that were involved in this NATO exercise. Uh, Belgium, Bulgaria, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Latvia, Lithuania, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Sweden, uh, Turkey, the UK, England, and the US. All right. And they were operating 
close to this little island, uh, a Denmark island, where the explosion took place. All right. And then a, right after that happened, a former government uh, representative who's an elected uh, official with the European Parliament now, Zagorski, came out and said, thanks to the U.S. for blowing it up. And a responsible member then of the Polish State Department came out and said, no, no, you know, we refute that. We don't want security issues for Poland. Now, this is coming out from Steve Quill and Doug Hagman. New information that on uh, September 26, when this bombing took place, uh, that in the U.S. Situation Room, representatives of the shadow U.S. government were watching the bombing in real time. Now, Monkey Works, ex-military, whose YouTube site, one of his YouTube sites, he has one that's a ministry and one he tracks planes, military planes, and globally, and commercial planes, and sometimes ships, came out with this. And I'll link that. He used a software program called Spyglass. And he put this out on uh, September 29. But it could go back in time to September 26. And located a Poseidon 8. That's a U.S. military spy plane. Uh, that can also uh, calm with underwater areas. And it came on September 26, about 4 a.m., refueled, and then went over and over this area, which would have been at the same time that the bombing was taking place. So we have substantive information that it could have been possible for individuals with the shadow U.S. government to be in a situation room and watch the bombing in real time. Now we have this coming out. Retaliation is coming. And we know recently in the summer, the president of Venezuela invited Russia and China. They came in with thousands of troops and equipment. And now we're learning Iran is also there with their nuke-like materials. Oh, you didn't know that Iran had nuke-like materials? Yeah. All right. And so, in retaliation for the blowing up of the N1, N2 pipelines, the alliance, which is uh, made up of uh, Russian President Putin, uh, the U.S. President Trump, uh, Chinese Chairman Z, uh, Prime Minister Modi of India, and 209 other nations, is going to retaliate against the deep state shadow locations inside the U.S. So, they're going to be using precision uh, weapons that have the destructive capability, uh, like nukes, but they don't use a nuclear material. And they are going to be precision guided missiles. And where are they going? They're going to New York. And I put out a recent video. Uh, recently, the Deep State Predictive Programming put out two TV warnings in New York about nukes, what to do in case of a nuke attack, and pack a go bag for yourself, your children and your pets. New Jersey, similar warnings. But these are two locations according to the information that came to Steve Quell. Also Denver, Colorado, and we saw predictive programming there recently on their TVs, Pack the Go Bags. And there was a Simpson predictive programming a TV show that came out with Go Bags in Denver, Colorado, and that was in the early 2000s. Washington, D.C., Metro. A lot of that's going to be taken out. And then unspecified locations in Washington State, 
Oregon, California, and five command and control locations. Now, recently, Dr. William Mount came out with four of them, and that's uh, Fort McPherson, and that's in Atlanta, Georgia. We have uh, Washington, D.C. We have Langley. And we have the Pentagon. Now, I was thinking a possible fifth location could be uh, uh, Mountain Weather. That had the uh, emergency broadcast system. But the U.S. Uh, military, the alliance part, took that over uh, early in the year to get access to the emergency broadcast system. The uh, great U.S. military Delta Force and Rangers went in and killed 12 FEMA guards and took it over. So I don't, I think that would be off of the list. So I don't know about the fifth location. But I wanted to put this information out. Now we know what to be in prayer for. I love you and I'll see you soon. Oh yes. Thanks, like, subscribe, and share.